This program was made possible by a grant from the Atlantic Richfield Foundation. of 16,000 public high schools are about to open. For 13 million students, the day will provide a mixture of social and academic triumphs and disappointments, boredom and new beginnings. In many high schools in America, mediocrity and excellence walk hand in hand. In the inner city, accomplishments are more difficult. The password is survival. For the complete student body. Good morning, everyone. Today is Friday, April the 8th, and these are today's announcements. Did you know that Mr. Burnside has sexy legs? Wow. And what about Mr. Donoski's? Student council would like to take time. <laughs> You'll be given a tardy assignment later. <clears throat> We were working on section two, article three. If you recall, the bell rang early. The bell schedule was off yesterday and we didn't get very far along on our notes. Uh, he's, in, he's in 5112. There was a scheduling error at the beginning of the year. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Interrupted by endless procedures, both student and teacher adjust to the belief that teaching is secondary. Students become bored, gliding through with the understanding that they won't demand too much of the school and the school won't demand too much of them. A story despite danger, discomfort, or long work hours. Physical therapists work in hospitals and clinics. Some teachers describe their class as holding pens, getting through the lesson, covering the material, marking time until the student is old enough to be accepted into the adult world. Article 3, Section 2, Paragraph 1. In many American classrooms, students are sufferers of information overload, silent partners in the learning process. We were told about 10 years ago that this is like a grocery store and we're to have all the selection and offering so that these children may choose whatever they wish and that if we didn't uh, have enough offerings that they signed up for, then teachers would be cut. For five weeks at the beginning of each semester, we play musical classes around here. We only require one year of math. For the most part, a student can take that one year of math in the ninth grade and never take another math class the whole time he's in high school. And we are teaching the kids that if a job is too difficult, to give up on it, to quit, to try something else. You etiquette diners, would you come in here and explain to me what you're going to do today during the noon hour with those kids? But without a required minimum of two full years of high school math, says Carnegie, yeah. young people and the nation will be in trouble. Many schools have begun to rush into computers, intrigued by their possibilities. Not the right answers. <laughs> but like all technology, it is not a teacher of wisdom. This whole big program and it, all it came out were zeros is the answer. Well, we just have another case of that here. The challenge to the school is not teaching how to use the latest piece of hardware, but asking when and why it should be used. <laughs> the study of foreign languages has taken a back seat in the American high school. A season ticket to Major League Baseball costs more than an average high school teacher makes in a week. Steven, is this yours? As many as one out of every four teachers is compelled to find work outside the classroom. There are no hats. A lot of times you look at your family and you wish, well, I wish I could take them on a little vacation. We really haven't been in place since we've been married. Or, I wish I could provide this service for my child. I wish I could afford to give him some piano lessons. And you realize you can't. Well, then you begin to think, have I 
did I do the proper thing 12, 15 years ago when I went into education? Now, the next question is important because it says a chloroplast. For many teachers, the need to work outside the school is more complex. My biggest misgiving is the salary. You know, like I tell my wife and kids that I'll try to get just about everything you would want, but you have to give me time. Okay. A customer, you know, when you help him with a plumbing problem or an electrical problem, and he immediately gives you feedback. The customers are so appreciative. You know, a lot of times kids, uh, they appreciate you, but they won't tell you. Uh, take out your uh, worksheet on Protus. Maybe that fulfills some that. inner need, you know, to, okay, to have all, someone sometimes appreciate what you're trying to do for them. Page 39, you do not have to do the self-discovery activity. Card in the back. America has always bought what it wants, if it wants it badly enough. You got bats here. What I was asking you was, what do we call that aspect of the romantic creed which emphasizes childhood? Trace, did you need a chocolate shake? Over three million. 30% of our high school students work after school. Only 10% have to. Give me the next line. My heart leaps up when... When I behold a rainbow in the sky. Socially adrift, unconnected to the adult world, teenagers choose a job to find meaning and purpose to their lives. I buy my clothes and... When I go out on a date or something, it comes in handy. I don't know, I've been thinking about getting a car, and they kind of, I don't know if they want me to get a car or not. But then I don't have to worry about them saying, well, I give you five bucks here, and why don't you clean up the yard or something, you know? Or so I say, well, you know, I got my own money. How about the death of one of them? We talked about, at least one of them. We talked about Shelly. Right. Yeah. What happened to Shelly? A lot of times I've come home, and I don't have nothing to do if I'm not working. And I, I have my two books of homework, and I say, I sit there, I don't want to do my homework. I leave it there, and I do it before the class the next day or something. I don't know. It just really, I'm not really bogged down with homework. It don't cause that much of a problem. I make money here at school. I don't make any money. I just, I learn, I guess. But here I learn and get paid for it, maybe. I don't know. Right? School was all important to me when I went to school. Today, it's secondary to the kids. It's financial in terms of keeping wheels and gas in their car. Uh, that's more important than school is. Parents don't seem to be getting through to their children that education is important. It should come first. Use your mind first. You know, play later. One does not have to be educated. One does not have to think that learning is important. One does not even have to see it as a means of rising in the class structure, but rather to get the diploma so that then this piece of paper says, now I can go out and buy the van I want. And wear the school colors. The irony is that after-school activities serve best those who need them least. We have opted for a system of winners and losers. Those who make it and those who don't. Excluding those who may not feel wanted. Those who will never wear a uniform or be part of the team. Those outside who may be marching to a different drummer.